In this video, we'll take a look at an application using a system of equations, but we'll first obtain the system of equations by performing linear regression. Here's what we have. The United States is buying more bottled water and less regular soft drink. The following table lists the per capita consumption of both beverages for several years. What year would you predict the U.S. will consume as much bottled water per year as regular soft drink? So again, as you can see, the gallons of bottled water purchased is increasing while the gallons of regular soft drink is decreasing. So what we first have to do is perform linear regression on this data. So let's go ahead and get our graphing calculators. Remember to enter in data, you hit the stat button and then enter. And if you have any old data in there like I do, if you go to the top of the list and hit clear, enter, clears the entire list at one time. Just don't hit delete, it'll delete the entire column. So clear, enter, clears that column. So we're first going to type in our year. Now for the year 2000, we'll use the x value of 0, 2001 will be 1, and so on. We'll type in water for L2. And soft drink for L3. We are now ready to perform the linear regression. We also want to store the linear equation in y1 and y2, so we'll take some extra steps to do that. So we're going to hit stat, go over to calculation. Option 4 is linear regression. Now the default will be to use L1 and L2, so we'll leave this as is, but since we want to store this equation in y1, we're going to hit vars. Right arrow once to Y vars, hit enter, and then select Y1, so I'd we'll enter again. This will perform the linear regression using L1 and L2 and store it in Y1. Let's also record this on our presentation. So we'll call Y sub W for water equal to 1.64x plus 16.68. Go back to the graphing calculator. Notice if we hit y1, the equation is already there. Now we're going to perform linear regression using L1 and L3. The way we're going to do this is we're going to hit stat, go over to calculation, option 4 again. Now we have to tell the calculator to use L1 and L3. The way we do that is hit second number 1, that'll bring up L1 for our x values, and then comma second 3 brings up L3. We also want to store this in Y2, so we'll hit comma, vars, go over to Y var, so right arrow once, hit enter, scroll down to Y2 this time, hit enter again, and then enter one more time. Here's our linear equation for the amount of soft drink consumed. Let's go ahead and record that on our screen. So I'll call this Y sub S for soft drink. Notice it has a negative slope because it is decreasing. Okay, so that's the first step. We have our system of equations. Now we want to know when Y sub W will equal Y sub S. Well, these two will be equal when these two are equal. Remember, there are several ways to solve a system of equations, graphing, substitution, and elimination. Let's first take a look at it graphically, because that's what they asked us to do. Again, here are the same equations from the previous screen. Let's go back to our graphing calculator. Remember, to solve this graphically, we want to graph both lines on the same coordinate plane and look for a point of intersection. Notice they're already in Y1 and Y2. We do have to adjust our window. Let's change our Y minimum to 0 a y maximum to 15, y minimum to 0, and x maximum to 40. Let's go ahead and hit graph. This is increasing, so that must be the model for the water, and this one's decreasing, that's the model for soft drink. The coordinates of this point 
represent the solution, let's go ahead and calculate that. If we press second trace, which is the calculation menu, option five for intersection, enter three times. Here we have the X value and the Y value of the solution. Let's go ahead and record that. And I'll record it using two decimal places. So the X value was 9.67 and the Y value was 32.55. Let's interpret these results. Remember, X represents the number of years past the year 2000. So if they ask in what year the consumption of water and regular soft drinks would be the same, that would be the year 2000 plus our X value. The interpretation of this would be it would be sometime in the year 2010. Remember, if X is 9, that would be throughout the year 2009, so we could think of just rounding this to 10, but essentially as long as it's larger than 9, it would be sometime in the year 2010. Secondly, the Y value represents the gallons of either water or soft drinks. In this case, it represents the same, both water and soft drinks, because it is the time when both the water consumption and the soft drink consumption is the same. So to summarize, we could say in the year 2010, we would predict the consumption of bottled water and regular soft drinks to both be approximately 32.55 gallons. Okay, I hope that helped review how to perform linear regression on the graphing calculator and also how to use technology to solve a system of equations. Now, of course, we could have solved this algebraically. If we wanted to do that, we would probably use the method of substitution. We want to know when these two y's are equal to each other, so we could take this expression here and substitute it in for y sub s and solve that equation. That method was covered on a previous video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you will recycle those plastic bottles, and more importantly, maybe even purchase a reusable water bottle.